by Yaps on Puppy around the, the room control. Maybe see if they can go for some action onto, onto Y and Arme. That's why stepping in. I have a terror out. Why? He's going to be able to grab the bouncy rune, but he will die for this. Secret. Or maybe with the very fast. Yapso is surely going to have the right clicks to take him out. And he does. In fact, Zai will be the one and to get the first. Oh, and the oh, Better be and pause. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> you know, hook shot, of course, for 40 seconds, but Faith Bian has the rod complete. So that, that solid setup into the silence of the blood right could do wonders. Nisha, though, with the invis. He's going to dispel that whole Sentry. movement. I'll drop it down now. Zai, bring him wide low here. Maybe thinking about getting in on this, but TPs are coming in from PSG. Do they turn the rod down into the blood right? The follow up silence as well from nothing to say as they lock down Nisha. Nisha, the silence, it's too long. Nisha can't get out of this. As Nisha goes down, Rupture's already they on the side. They've still got the Winter's Curse if Jin Q can find the opportunities to lock them down. Zai, the Rupture wears off. He's going to roll his way out. He'll head back to safety and will make it away. Nothing to say. It's going to be a very difficult target to go on. Going for the Yule straight to the BKB. Making sure that he can be that frontliner that PSG LGD can fight around. PSG LGD, whilst Ame continues to farm, they'll make a move as the fourth. And Nisha, he's been caught. Silence into the rod, the hook shot and the blood right. They lock him down as Nisha, all the swap. swap. Puppy, he will manage to get the save off. So Puppy able to make sure that Nisha lives. That's a good job as well, Nisha. He was just 100 gold away from finishing his Yule Scepter. Smoke, Zai and Yapsor trying to find a kill on Ame. I mean, if they could get the Rolling Thunder into the arrow, they could certainly have a shot at getting this. Meanwhile, down bottom, looking towards Y. Y, he's got the back of the curse is out. Jin Q is able to catch the two of them into the side as Nisha goes down. And now with the chase, they'll look to run down Matuba Man. Ruptures at the ready. Fabian pops it out. Matsu, he has still got the ult. He's going to pop it. Get back in there, try and close the gap, but the Yules is up. Buying time to Matuba Man. will actually still get the kill on Y, but of course will not manage to escape. At least they got something out of that. You know, a kill on position five. Arme has just had complete freedom in this first 19 minutes. They're making a move on the bottom so he can TP to the bottom lane and connect with the rest of the team if needed. There we go. Look at the set. Up. Why? Hook shot straight into the back of Faith Beyond. Not the ideal start, but it, it, it does the job. Kill is found. Nisha is going to head out with the TP. They won't be able to find him in time. They got another kill. Like, they could potentially just go inside and force a fight inside the pit. I don't think Team Secret team fight is enough to actually just threaten. There we oh, go. Nisha! Ame. It's walking up the high ground. Ame just drops down the Wukos. Come on, Nisha does have a remnant prepared down bottom. So he is away. But now he's on the other side of the map, PSG LGD. They're going to look to get into the pit, pop the exorcism, and they'll look to take this before Secret's able to set themselves in a uh, up in a position to contest this. They don't have Wukong's command. Like, I guess he was relying on Dead Prophet to land a silence, but she was a bit too far away from it. Rest of the team, like, they have three people on the bottom. Like, this Roshan, Zai, trying to jump in. Let's see if good time it. The curse will hold him back. Radiant gets the kill on Roche. Aegis will still be picked up as well by PSG LGD. Has nothing to say, able to take it, as well as taking Zai's life to Secret. So, Secret just aren't really having any chance to, to get on any sort of mission to hunt down armor. They just... They just don't have the space yeah, to make it. Yeah, it's very hard for them to gank with their heroes, considering the situation they're in right now. Like, it's Mirana 4. Uh, they have a setup, you know. They have a setup with the Ember Spirit, but it's a bit tough to execute, considering they're playing into Vyvern. Arrow will connect on a mid lane. They might be able to burst him down. That's the first the line. They've got to be careful. Xing Q wins his curse in 15 seconds. If they want to go in and try and take him down, Rolling Thunder coming out from size, found the chain straight over the wall. Xing Q and a oh, good roll. Fabian getting it bounced upon again for the Wukong's command is down. Matu and Sai, they caught in the middle of it. The silence is well to Matuba Man. He's not going to get the chance to get the ult off. As he's perma silenced there by the squad of PSG LGD. And now they're over towards Puppy as well. Rod of Ados down from Fabian. PSLGD, they'll be able to find three. Rocket, Rocket Flare from Wild. We'll finish him, him off. off. Yeah, the team fight uh, potential from PSG LGD. You can see Wukong's command with the Aghanim Scepter is just too much. Yule Scepter is available. But the Boundless. Oh, he's waiting. Ame. Oh, he's away for looking. Yeah, Faith Beyond. He was there by the Remnant. He was ready for Nisha. Nisha still on the run. And on the way towards up upgrading that Basher into an Abyssal. I'm understanding. This time around, I'm not uh, fooling around or anything. I'm just getting that uh, BKB. It's a 10 second BKB. Didn't even pop it once, but uh, you know, it's still good to have it. Why? Why? 
able to find the catch on to Yapsul. Nisha will be able to run, but Yapsul left behind. It's Rosham. I don't know if Secret can contest this. It's it's a very tough team fight to play into. PSG LGD, they take this Roche fast. Secret, they're heading over. There's so many monkeys, they need to be careful. Let's see what Zai can do. He's going to look to try and get it for Thunder. Didn't actually get the angle straight in and on the side. Magic plus the BKB, but a lot of the duration is going to be wasted by the Winter's Curse. Zai will be able to snatch the Aegis. PSG LGD get the kill, but Zai's able to get the steal. Still, though, that's Nisha dead. Zai dead the once. Zai will be able to blink out to the side. He'll live a second time. Matsu, Zionist, but was he able to get the battle chance off in time? Faith Beyond being protected, though, by Jin Q with the cold embrace. As Faith Beyond will survive, they can turn, bring down Matuma Man. The rest of Secret, they've got to run. At least they got something, you know, they got that Aegis, which is a pretty big deal. You would not want to have that on Ame because he would easily just go in and siege the high ground. That was also a Death Prophet exorcism once again with the Arcane Rune. I believe that was like third or fourth one so far. They're still going to go in. Ame picked up the cheese, so this is something that, that they need to be careful about. I think like Ame should always be able to get the cheese off. He's super tanky. There's no burst damage on Team Secret whatsoever. Absolutely. I want to sort of... Ooh, we have Puppy having to swap Zai out of that. GLGD nearly getting the setup to dive past the racks for the killers. And take away the mid racks. Zai's going to jump in. And turn with the Abyssal. We'll be able to slide out with the swashbuckle, but the melee racks are gone. Arme immediately moving up to the top. Yeah, so Zai, that was a five man shield crash. 90% damage reduction. They can't kill him. Let's see what they can do to stop this. They loads the storm. To the missile back on a puppy. Zai coming in with the rolling thunder, getting in on top of Arme, but Arme's being protected by the cold embrace. A lot of change done onto Arme. Continue to bounce Jeez. back. Arme getting low. Zai. Doesn't get it off. I mean, Zai did that perfectly. He stunned Arme for pretty much the entire time. 100 to 0. They're actually able to kill him off before he can get the cheese off. But now, looking to see if they can chase for more. Why? Caught up by the slider fist. Another Curse. kill. Now with a slow onto the Q. Secret, they will defend. Rolling Thunder coming out from the Pangolier. So I'll push him out. You know, if he uses the old Scepter, tries to stun lock him, I'll just push him out. So he gets a four step. This GOGD coming in from this angle. Secret might not expect them to, to be here on the high ground. Nothing to say. Be able to find any catch. Secret will be able to stand to the side with a moonlight shadow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Not quite able to catch there. Why tries, but the dodge is in place. Puppy. And he chased out by nothing to say. CP put to an end over to the side. Matu is going in onto Ame. Ame will be able to get the BKB and the cheese off. Turns with the missile over towards Matu. He's caught in the Wukong's command. Matu continue to beat him with the boundless strike. Slam down onto the troll. Ame takes down Matumba Man. Zai will also fall to the damage of the Wukong's command. Nisha and Yapsu, they've got to run. Monkey. But Ame, he's in. He's chasing over towards Nisha. Nisha trying to run, but Faith Beyond and Ame will close upon him as three dead on secret. It's Ame. just too much damage. Ame uses that cheese, gets the ulti off, uh, locks him down with the Abyssal Blade, like gets extra armor from the Wukong's command. Troll is just not a match against the Monkey King in these types of situ situations. He also had a double damage on Monkey yeah. there. Nice, no, it's a very hard fight for, for Secret to take. As soon as that battle chance comes to an end, Matuma Man is getting torn apart. PSGLGD, they'll go for the Roche and Secret. They won't have a chance to take a look yeah, at they, this. Yeah, they cannot contest this. It's gonna be a refresher. I guess you give that to Monkey King. Like, if he can uh, set a second Wukong's command, like first Wukong's command could be just to want to take the tier three tower and then have another one refresh the BKB smoke. Oh, this he's going straight in. Jumps over the missile on towards Nisha. Now try and hop back, Ame, Ame. Yeah, held back by the magic missile. Secret, they've got to run though. Why? Comes in with a hook shot, puppy in with the save. Zai will be taken out towards the side. Matsu getting in on top of Jin He's trying to bring down the Wyvern, but the Cold Embrace is up in time. Jin Q able to keep himself alive. The Wukong is down. The Bash is around. Matsu, he's surrounded by the as Matsu goes down. Death for 90. No buyback on the drop. Uh, they're going to get puppy. He manages to save Bangler for a brief period of time, but uh, they still get him. Like, this is the target that Troll needs to go on. Like, he needs to kill the Wyvern. Uh, there was no curse in the fight. Roll. Zai. Can he do anything to save against the push this time? Zai. He's having to hold back Arme. He's charging in. He's ready to dive in on anybody. It's now secret. They've got he to try to defend refresher. 4v5. PSG OGD. They're pushing onto the tier fours. Fortification comes out. It looks like there's going to be very little that Secret can do to stop this power Wukong of PSG. Wukong is available. Disarm. 
Arsenal still has that Aegis. He is not worried whatsoever. On the back line, Jin Q is just going to be able to hold them back with the curse. The second tier four goes down. Ame, he's just looking to win the game. Pops the BKB, the Wukong's command as the ancient. It will fall. GG is called as PSG LGD. Enough to get back underneath the tower. They're Don't running low on south. region. Yeah. yeah. There is Gale available, plus a roll in four seconds. <laughs> and they're, they're this should Gale. be the first blood. Ame. It could be in they trouble might get both of them, actually. I mean, Zai's taking hits from the tower, though. We'll see who's going to be first to go down. Why? He'll be the first to fall, but Zai does still go down. So Arme able to get a nice dose of XP from that. And if anything, with the ETZ, does mean that Y's going to be able to bring some regeneration yeah. back to the lane. Still secret. They're, they're trying to get into the jungle, see if they can find Arme. Arme's got a lot of backup by his side. Zai scouting things out. Faith Biani's going to look to lead in on this with the Rolling Thunder. Straight over towards the two of them. Finds the connection onto both. Zai and Puppy. Caught out by the stuns, the sleep follow up onto Puppy as well. They'll drop the splitter, Yapsor rolling straight in. PSG LGD begin to back off. They don't get the initiation they want as Jingchu will be get caught behind by Nisha. Coil down, sets up for the kill onto the Marana. Army with the Ags on the on the way that he's working on. He's going to have no interest in turning up to team fights no. until he's got these next two items done. Exactly. Like, maybe if they use a couple of their abilities, the kick will not break the coil, but they'll still get the kill. So top, Faith Bian, he will get gone upon. Nisha leads in with the coil. This four-man sort of killing squad of secret are finding these pickoffs. Here we go, they're ready to roll. Faith Bian, straight with the blink in, sets him onto Zai. Good coming down the middle. And it's not going to connect onto any of them though. Zai still alive for now. Wukong Saman down. Puppy having a false promise himself to stay alive. Nisha gets it onto Faith Bian and Y with the silence. Takes down Faith Bian. Over to the side, Matsuma Man cooking up the concoction, throws it in onto nothing to say. The Wukong's command still down. Zaro, it's not going to connect here, nothing to say. Still being focused by Matsu and Nisha. Nisha's in with a burst. They take down a second. Now moving over towards Jin Q. Jin Q underneath the tower, it doesn't matter. A secret run him down, concoction over towards Y. Secret, they're going to be able to find four by the looks of it is Y. He'll tick down to the urn and the acid spray to make any sort of steal happen. Faith Bian and nothing to say would be the ones to jump in. I said the secret a little, little hesitant on committing fully for, for the Roshan. Yeah, it seems like they're bailing. Yeah, they're going to look towards some kills as Jin Q has been found up top. Force break the call. The coil will turn him down as it goes over towards the mid. Zai, a poison onto Y. Y's going to have to take a long walk back to base here. He may even just tick out, and he does. It's too much with the Gale still on him. Now they can damage. go inside a bit and finish off the Roche. Acid Spray still not there, but to the, with the AC, there's some minus armor. One fight against the Alchemist, you just have so much damage on the towers. Like, it could be tricky, but if he can get away with that, nothing to say. In the river. He's gonna try and turn and, and tries to play aggressive into Yapsor. Not gonna have quite enough damage. He's now gonna be able to get out of his Yapsor. Actually lands the silence. And that'll be enough to set up for Puppy to nuke him out. They get the kill. Jin Q also ticking down to the poison. And he's gonna get taken out as well. Zai finding another. That didn't go for Maelstrom, so you're not gonna be able to scale. Uh, he's, he's probably dead once again. Um, they've got the stun. I mean, Lacoste, I think you, you were looking to the future because now he's 0-4 and 0, 0-3 and 0 before. You were, you're calling KDA before it even <laughs> happened. <laughs> so, it showed on my screen, yeah, you know, I swear. Don't let the public know about your time-traveling capabilities. That's Caster. This is going to be, seems like, free set of barracks. I don't think they can contest this. Still I, Aegis that, up and yeah. running for two and a half minutes. They just can't get in on this. Yeah, Arme, it's too risky. Arme's just going to get Dream Code. Nisha, he's just going to be able to take the jump start to find any tier fours. As they've got the follow concoction, Matsu's just moving in. Arme is in so much trouble. There's no way they can help him as Arme's dead. That's it. And they, they call it. Yeah, it's, they it's over. They actually just call it. They see no way of getting themselves back into this game. A secret. They'll take two, and we're, we're getting some fun. Some Let's see. You know, let's see if. Yeah, uh, no, it's. I, I just checked in feeble because they they changed it. Jin Q. Yeah, he's super dead. And yep, shackles out, and they try and get the first put over towards Nisha, but Zai will take it just to be safe. And Zai, uh, he's gonna get gone on. Tries to step in very aggressively, and of course, with the first point of the shackle shot, he's not gonna have any way to escape. Some nice juicy brains for Puppy. Ready, three versus three down on the bottom lane. As they'll turn towards Yapsor, Yapsor 
going to get beaten down here. Now Matuma Man, he's got to be careful. He's falling low. Pierce Yoji, they'll be able to run him down and finish him off. Another kill. As White does go down, but two kills for Pierce Yoji. I mean, uh, before the one minute mark, Army 2 0 1. That's uh, pretty much as good as it gets for a carry start to their game. It's going to be such a good timing on the Necro Book. Yeah, no, not missing a single creep here, Faith Beyond. This is going to be pretty much as fast as it gets. Did you do the math or did you pull that out of your ass? The, the, I, just, I did the math. Let's say you we'll, did we'll, the math? we'll go okay. with that. As uh, bottom lane, uh, again, Puppy just found by the movements of the support, Zinq and Y. Got the catch each and every time. That's what I do with the stats, you know. That's where I get them from. If you say it confidently enough, you know, yeah, people yeah. will believe it. Like, this has been the most played hero with 72.4% win rate in this tournament with over 20 games. Like, it sounds like I know what I'm talking yeah, exactly. about. Exactly. I've got 8.5k MMR. You know, it, it's believable. You, know. you didn't convince me. Try it again. <laughs> Mid lane. Hex. Here we go. They've got the catch on to Puppy this time. Back up Sin. Yep, so Anisha trying to turn things around. The stop comes down. Shinkyu. He's got the stick charges into the trees he goes. Bane holding back, nothing to say for now, with the Nightmare, but nothing to say, still able to jump in over towards Nisha, Nisha cut down by the Slider Fist, as they bring down the puck, Why taking some tower hits, that uh, will cause him to go down, and Secret will find the two of them, but they lose they Nisha lose for it. It's Necrobook 2 already done, like they get nothing out of this shapeshift, but oh, good shackle. And turn though, they change around to Zai, stomp as well. Locks down the Wind Ranger. Jinku coming in from the side. He's going to have that extra burst to bring down Zai Puppy as well. Getting beaten down by Y. Jackals onto Nisha, but Yaps was able to throw out the silence, stop the channeling as Nisha can jump away with the orb. You know, you need to get the Maelstrom. You need to get a BKB to be able to stand your ground. Coil on two. See if they can finish off the kills. Nicely there, turning. Nothing to say. Jinku just going to hold their ground. Turn with the lockdown onto Yapsor. Yapsor is going to get the back of Matsuma Man jumping in. A stomps out. The sleep's going to catch the two of them. Yapsor goes down. They will lose Jinku. Fiend script for Puppy. Locks down the Ember Spirit. The follow Shackle Shot will connect as they bring down. Nothing to say. But why? He's just beating them all up. It's four dead on secret. No way of dealing with things. I like this. I've seen this in Southeast Asia. And chase from Faith Beyond. Secret will also have problems maintaining vision against Necro 3. Bottom, snap the coil, four people, pretty dead. It gave Faith Beyond just a, a completely you know, perfect opening to the game. So in the mid, Over the catch on Sanisha, they've got him. Well, the catch between the two, now, if nothing to say, Oshinku's able to close the gap. That age is going in for a BKB, not going in for a BKB, going for his own KB. That's Monkey King Bar. Now right. that bottom, Nisha. He's trying to get aggressive onto nothing to say, but Faith Beyond, he's coming across with a shapeshift. Secret's got to run. As Faith Beyond turns over towards Zai, Zai. He's able to get the wind run off in time. And it's going to come to an end. The Boundless Strike comes crashing down from Arme. Zai, you get taken out. Another kill for Faith Beyond. As the rest of Secret have to scatter themselves across the map and get away from the chase of this Lycan. I mean, how on earth do you turn this if, this, if you're secret? This, it feels like they're in even a rougher position than they were in game one. And game one was tough. There's nothing to say. Finding the setup. On to Zai. Zai's going to go for the TP out, but Jin he's ready with a hex. As another death. On Zai. Shaman just completely popping up. They're going in. Puppy. He's got to run. Him and Matu have got to get out of this as Arme. Still 20 seconds on Aegis. That will be out back long, long enough for them to, to escape. Top lane. He was trying to push it out, but Jinku was ready. As the, the, the risk of trying to, to play a, play these lanes out against a Shaman. Like an ulti. He wants Spain. And he'll get it. Puppy dead and gone. Roshan taken. She's on nothing to say. Aegis onto Arme. Nothing they need to wait for. All their items are pretty much online. Abyssal Blade will be done for Ame in the next 100 gold. Clears this ancient creep camp and he's good well, to Matsu, go. He's trying to go for Jinku. He's going in with the BKB. He does manage to land the crit as he will bring down the Shaman. Turns over the wards Y as well. Oh, it's a good fight for Team Secret. You know, they're just delaying things, which is uh, kind of a must have. Also, Matumba Man getting a kill. Top wave. He can farm that. He just finished the Desolator. They're going to try and make a move for more. No, two dead on PSG LGD, but they're three cores that are alive from PSG LGD. No, 
they have got a good chance of taking a fight three versus five because of how big they are. And in the mid, the jump's been made onto Matuma Man. Matuma Man just gets taken out before he can do anything at all. And now Secret, they've got to back off. They've got to run. Remnant down for nothing to say as he chases over towards Puppy. Puppy will also fall. That's it. They, they may have had the number advantage. And obviously Secret feel they do have to go for those desperate plays. But that, it's always going to be so hard because of... Just, it was a risky move, you know. You're also risking that potentially their fours and fives have buyback. Matumba Man dies straight away. They don't have enough Nisha. damage. Like, this is their damage. Nisha also does not have a defensive item. He's just straight up dead. They are just not standing a chance to, to get anything it's just done too much there. damage. They cannot get close. The Necro units, the Wolves, Shadow Shaman Wards. Why then. actually gives them Essence String. He's, just a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a Divine Rapier away from a Divine Rapier. <laughs> Yeah, just uh, farm that 6,000 gold somewhere. See if he can find any money. As he's, he's looking for a kill. He's in onto White. White, he's going to have the backup. GQ just turns with a hex. Japsil will roll and get the science down on the two of them. Match is able to put the BKB. They will once again be able to take down the two supports as they immediately TP out of there. Matsu will manage to get back to base. Still feel they should try to take one more fight. Ame has cheese. Oh, they remember the catch. They've got the setup on a puppy. Straight away they commit on all, so they'll be able to find the lockdown onto Matumba Man. Matumba Man, he's got to run. Will manage to jump up. The puppy's going to die again. Battle is strike down on the two of them. They catch both Nisha and Puppy. An immediate dieback from Puppy on the Bane. And now the chase continues inside of the base. They get the hex onto Matu. Shackle shot. Will hold back. Nothing to say in faith beyond. But Arme's jumping in, looking for Zai. Zai keeps his distance. Oh, the Absol just rolls straight in. We'll set up the power shot to get the kill, but they're calling it. It is absolutely done and over. A secret called GG. PSG or GG. Take game three. And with that, the series is theirs. Two to one.